Alright guys, this is a 2007 Optimax 115. Uh, this one came in with was getting the beeps every two minutes. Um, so the first thing you want to do is when you get that is you want to drain the water out of the water separator. Okay, that's what this is right here. Here's your fuel filter. This is where the, the fuel goes in right here and the water will settle here. Okay, the way to drain that is there's an Allen screw. The older Optimaxes have a flathead. Okay, you're going to want to take this off right here. This is the hose going to the, uh, it's, it's all blocked off. So all this is is the drain hose just for this procedure. Take the hose off, put it outside your cowling, get a cup or something. Take your Allen screw loose or your flathead loose and drain this. Okay, all, you'll see water come out first if there's water in it and then gasoline. Go ahead and just drain it. Um, you can actually pump this, pump your bulb and fill it up and just make sure you get all the water out of there, okay? Okay, go ahead and plug this back in. This side, tighten up your Allen screw. Come over here to this side. This is your fuel pump side of it. Take the other side off. Come outside your cowling into a cup. Drain this Allen screw. Open it up. You're going to let your fuel pump side drain. Okay. Plug it back in. Tighten this back up. And then pump it up. Okay. You Make sure you, make sure you pump it up good before you go and try to start it. Okay. If, you're, if the three beeps or the, the beeps go away every two minutes... Well then, that was your problem, okay? And that that uh, that sensor here was was uh, was sensing water in the fuel, okay? If it's still going off, your next step is come over here to this side, and this is your this is your oil tank, okay? On the bottom of the oil tank, there's a sensor. There's a sensor that reads the float in here, okay? Sometimes that sensor goes bad, but nine times out of ten, it's the float that's part of the tank. So you have to replace the whole tank. And that's what this customer's problem here was was right here. Okay, it was getting the beeps every two minutes, even after we did the uh, the fuel pump drain. And there was water in the fuel, so it was having it was actually having two alarms. Okay, the way to diagnose this is way down here underneath the tank, between the cowling and the tank. Okay, there's a plug, the little two prong plug. You unplug that, and you want to trick this computer into thinking that this is full. Okay, that the, that the float is full. And what, the way you do that is you take a piece of wire and you jump it. Okay, you jump the the uh, the computer side of it, not the sensor side of it. Okay, so you jump that. If your problem goes away, well, then you got a bad tank. Okay, you got to replace that tank. That tank is about 320 bucks. If you, um, on Amazon, if you go to a Mercury dealership, they're about $400. Okay. So that's what the problem was, was on this motor. It's good to go.